Okay, so this can actually expand your ability to plug in more monitors on your normal PC. Now, this is kind of a graphics card, but it doesn't really have its own uh, allocated memory. This expands your ability to plug monitors based on your CPU and RAM. So what this does, it takes uh, pixies from your CPU and your RAM, which I suggest at least eight gigs of RAM and a PCI-3. I haven't even looked at it yet myself. And of course, you're going to need display link drivers because that's how these uh, operate. And then you have the card itself right here. And it looks pretty good. And then this is the card. This is the chip inside. The uh, ports are right here. So we have a total of four ports, two HDMI and two display ports. And besides that, well, there's nothing else. The PCIe connection right here. Really beautiful build. I like this uh, board. Looks really nice. So we're going to plug it to my PC and uh, see what it does when we throw a ton of monitors on it. Spot right there to plug in stuff. And uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm just going to plug it to that PCIe slot that's open right there. And uh, that's pretty much it. It is on. That's uh, all you need to do here. And on the back, we have to put the screw on because we need to hold it. But besides that, everything looks intact as it should be. So let me put that uh, thumb screw real quick. It's locked and loaded. We have a few more on the top, but those are for something else. And uh, well, let's plug in a few monitors. We need uh, two display ports and two HDMI. That should be very simple. And one display port right there. Another display port there. Uh, one HDMI right here. Yep. And one more HDMI. Boom. So now we have four monitors plugged on that. I'm going to plug one just to start the PC on this uh, side here. Probably the HDMI there. And uh, that's it. The rest of the ports are just open for other things. Okay, so let's turn everything on and see where that goes. That uh, looks like we have lift off. And uh, let's see what happens now. And here it is. It's all connected. Except for that fifth monitor on top there, the smaller one, that's directly to my PC. But the rest are directly on the Wavelink card, as you see right there, that it says all connected. DL7400 Universal, DisplayPort, HDMI, and all that, blah, blah, blah. Means Wavelink. It's connected right now, and it's actually looking really good, and it's quite smooth. For just, you know, connected to that thing, and as you see on my GPU only one that's actually really cool i gotta say and uh well let me move i guess i don't know some windows look there's no lagginess or anything weird or no everything just works across all of them look the ones that are connected to that wavelength now is this going to replace a gpu absolutely not that's not how this stuff works at all. But this will extend. Or if you have a computer that doesn't have a dedicated GPU, but you have a PCI uh, slot that you can put this machine on, then yes, it works. You can put those four monitors, no problem. It should be fine for light work, office work, uh, browsing, that kind of stuff. But it's not going to be like a gaming GPU that you might have on your uh, computer. Yes, this is not meant for that. But if you already have a GPU and you just want to add one of these so you can have something more, then yes, this will do it perfect. Just make sure you have enough uh, RAM, enough CPU to fuel it up. No, I do not turn on my RGB because I do not like it, but it has a lot of RGB, but I just... I just, I'm not an RGB person at all. I could care less if RGB existed. <laughs> to me, what matters is, does this guy work? Do these guys work? Does this guy here work? And these guys here, and mainly there. Do these work? Yes, then I'm okay. Then I'm good to go. That's what matters to me. Maybe some of the dust, 
needs to be cleared up but we don't we don't care about that we don't talk about those kind of controversial things here <laughs> but yeah actually it's a really really good device to have in my opinion especially for the price it's worth every dime is look all four monitors are connected directly to it and as you see all four are doing their job and by the way it's this one here this one this one and this one here that are connected to this wavelink this is actually good i like this thing and yeah let me fire up a video i guess uh my own videos boom why not grab on fresh tomato here and it pr plays as long as you have good internet obviously because otherwise you know it is what it is but look everything works as it's supposed to be boom just like that so besides that I don't know what else to tell you. And yes, the same cards that we saw in settings here show up on the window settings too, or monitors. As you see, all five monitors, except number one is connected directly to my computer. The rest are all connected to this uh, little wavelength right here. Uh, well, right here, I should say on the back of the computer, but you know, you know what I mean. And it looks really cool. I'm actually happy with this one. Because now I can put eight monitors at once if I wish so. I mean, the other six monitors are behind me on the other side of the room. So I cannot really say much more about that. But, oh, look. Fake stuff. Cool. Great. Anyway, I have a... Yes, that is an Apple computer in case you've never seen one. That's the 27-inch. I've upgraded everything I could on it. And it works like a charm. And I tell you, it works like a charm. But yeah, the whole point here is that uh, this Wavelink works. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. It's really a beautiful piece to have, in my opinion. Based on what I'm testing so far, oh, you just fire up your keyboard and mouse and everything works. No, this one is actually not connected right now. It's on, but it's not connected to anything. So yeah. It's not expanded by that either. This is actually a beautiful piece. It's way faster than USB docking stations. The uh, four monitor or whatnot, they are great, even with Thunderbolt 4, but nothing compares to a direct PCIe connection to your actual motherboard, because that gets power and everything it needs directly in here without having to go to your USB ports, whether they're USB-A or USB-Cs that are somewhere up there too, or all that. Yep, it just works right away. In my opinion, worth every single penny. Gotta tell you, every single penny. So, hope you learned something. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.